Tony. Thank you everyone for attending this morning. Um, really excited about the turnout that we got this morning as early as this uh, panel discussion was. It very, very well attended, so thank you very much. Again, my name is Chris Simpson. I work for Sony Digital Sony Solutions. Uh, just to give you a quick uh, overview, we have a few slides to take you through the product. Um, the product is both a closed captioning solution and also an assisted listening device as well, all in one. Uh, it's a very elegant solution, uh, very personalized for the guest, and uh, allows for a direct line transmission of the uh, visuals from the screen to the user uh, without having to take their eyes off the screen and they get full closed captioning. Uh, this image just kind of illustrates what the glasses look like. Uh, the receiver, and then an optional set of headphones. Uh, in addition, um, it does use some uh, proprietary Sony technology, which is very unique and different. Uh, the closed captioning text is a holographic image that's superimposed on the glass itself. So as the user is looking at the film, they're seeing the closed captioning text go across in front of their eyes, similar to what they would have if they were watching closed captioning on a television. But on a television, you get the black box. Here you just get nice, crisp, uh, green colored text that seem to float right over uh, the, the image on the screen. We also have uh, uh, the capabilities for support for up to six languages. Um, just like the other products that you've learned about this morning. Um, there are several user-definable adjustments to the product to make it more comfortable and to have a better experience. So for example, they can adjust the height of the text uh, relative to where they want the closed captioning to be seen on the screen. So for example, the lower portion of the screen, the middle of the screen, uh, the upper portion of the screen. And in talking to several users, they tend to kind of gravitate to what they're used to and watching closed caption on a television, they tend to put it at the bottom of the screen. Uh, they can also adjust the distance of the text so that where they're sitting relative to the screen in the auditorium, they have the ability to adjust how that text looks on the glasses in front of their eyes, whether it's more near, more mid, or more far. And those slight adjustments just make for a very comfortable user experience. <coughs> It is adaptable for 3D uh, with a simple uh, disposable polarizing filter that just simply snaps right on top of the glasses. It's a perfect uh, cut to the size of the lens. And then if you're uh, wearing prescription eyewear, the glasses are designed to fit over the top of the eyewear. Uh, plus putting the 3D filter on, it just limits the number of items that you have to have um, uh, to wear to watch a 3D movie at the same time as enjoying the captions. Uh, the receiver, as I mentioned earlier, can be used for both the audio. Um, so there are settings for both the visually impaired, which has a descriptive audio track, uh, hearing impaired, which has assisted, uh, assisted listening, assistive audio, and um, of course, closed captioning. The difference between getting closed captions and getting assisted listening is this is the difference between unplugging the uh, cord from the glasses to the receiver and plugging in um, a set of headphones directly uh, in standard uh, uh, headphones that uh, use a standard audio jack, just like our, our other products uh, here on the stage. Uh, just a few other features. Uh, it's a very sleek style uh, device. Um, it's very lightweight. It's about three ounces. Um, so very comfortable to wear. Uh, the text color is green. It was chosen to be a specific color that would be well received, um, easy to see. Another interesting feature of the glass is that it has a photo cell inside the front of the lens of the glasses, which self-adjusts throughout the presentation. So as the image on the screen changes, uh, in other words, the brightness level uh, changes from scene to scene, the glasses self-adjust 
to change the color of the closed captioning text to be brighter or darker to best match that scene. So the user doesn't have to change the brightness uh, themselves as they're watching the film itself adjust. <laughs> Uh, just a few other little technical specs, uh, the brightness from 3 to 50 nits. Um, again, it's automatically adjustable. Um, it's a very wide field of view. Uh, the weight, again, is very light. And uh, battery life, uh, just like uh, the other products that are mentioned today, the six hour battery life um, for our product, um, full charge. Some of the additional accessories, there is a 10 slot battery charger, which will charge up the receivers and the batteries in uh, full charge within three hours. Um, we do recommend for um, keeping the product safe and, and well maintained, there's a carrying case that can be used to uh, allow the guests to transport it back and forth between customer service and the auditorium. Uh, so that they're easier to handle and they might have other items in their hand. Um, hopefully concession items in their hand. And uh, we do also um, supply and can supply um, lanyards too, just like you'd have with a typical pair of uh, sunglasses. Headphones are uh, either user provided or provided by the theater. And there's a wide range and virtually any type of headphone can be used. This is a quick slide just to show you the, the configuration example. Um, the product is compatible with all the servers on the market, so it will work with um, any server uh, other than Sony, and it will work obviously with ours. So uh, it's a straight um, network connection between the transmitter and the cinema server that obviously is connected to the projector. And uh, it works on a radio frequency in 2.4 gigahertz, and um, I think we've found a lot of success with that. Um, haven't had a lot of issues with crosstalk or issues of that nature. And um, we have some technology built in to try to eliminate some of those things if, uh, if they did occur to eliminate the possibility of you receiving the wrong, the wrong signal. So uh, we have a little link to our website here. Or you can write it down. Obviously, cinema.com slash digital cinema. What I really want to encourage you all to do is please come by our booth. We have a couple pairs of the glasses and the receiver. We have a demo uh, that's built into the product so you can see the closed captioning on the glasses uh, as if you were in the theater, but without being in a theater environment. And we'd love to give you a chance to take a look at it. Thank you very much.